This is Roger from Shoba Support, and I will show you the Hot Cost Reporter. Now, the Reporter is a way of combining each of your daily hot costs into one area to get totals. So, that's exactly what I'm looking at right here. I'm actually looking at my list of episodes, and each of the ep episodes that I'm looking at is actually multiple days worth of hot costs. So, how do you get into this module? It's actually a separate module that's automatically built within crew cards. So, first when you open the program, it will mention that to you. In fact, we've even shown you in an earlier tutorial how to do that. Go to the hot costs and you'll be right here. If you're actually in the hot cost module itself, click on reporter and you're right there. Another way, and this is my favorite way actually, is going into window and going to the crew cards and or the hot costs. All right, so now once you're in there, let me break this down for you. Again, we're looking at our list of episodes. Let's go into one episode and see what that looks like. Essentially what this is, we've entered all the information over here about our production. Again, it will be blank when you first start with it. In fact, it'll look exactly like this. It'll be blank. You fill all that information out. You put your, um, your production, your episode number, your title, etc put that information in there and it will start populating the information over on the side. So let's go back to one so you can see it again. All right, so now you can see this is all filled out and it's actually showing, in fact, you can even show the amount of days. In fact, this is a nice thing that a lot of people like to see. Say, for example, your producer wants to see only certain days, you can make an adjustment here to do that. It'll only show those days. See how it's making an adjustment on each of the hot cost days. So I'll go right back to where I was before, my eight day schedule. Now, each of these now, again, is adding up from a hot cost I did each day. So let's go into one of them and take a look at it. All right, so literally what this is, is information that came from a hot cost that I generated. You make sure you put your shoot date, you put your pages in, you can put setups, you can make an adjustment to that. Say for example, you know what, actually, we were budgeted for 33 and now there's no variance. You can make adjustments here, say for example, um, actual, the actual was actually 06. Again, you are typing this information in manually, but see how you can actually very quickly go through the various areas and change things. Now, some of them are changeable. For example, if I wanted to come here and say, we're actually not using actual film, we're actually using a red camera, so we're actually using hard drives. You go you've entered hard drives and again make your adjustments there now down below we actually have an area that's kind of handy these are additional items as well actually before I do that let's go back up let's go back to this Now, you can make adjustments to anybody this. No, I'm not stopping this. You can make adjustments to any one of these. Um, you can, try it again. <coughs> now, one thing that's nice is you can actually go and make adjustments to any one of these descriptions. So if I click into it and say, for example, I'm not using film, I want to use hard drives because I'm using a red camera. I can make that change. Down below that, we actually have an area for notes. These are notes that are actually from the production report um, and or approvals that if you need to put approvals in, go ahead and put those things in as well. Now below that is actually additional or miscellaneous items that are maybe not part of the regular hot cost you're doing, but it may be for one particular day you need to add it in, or it might be a recurring cost that you want to add in to make sure it's part of the hot cost. And that is simple. Just add in what the amount was, what the actual was, and now you have a true variance. Just keep going through here and you can add as many as you want down to the bottom there. Um, and again, these are just additional or miscellaneous costs that are added in. Now you'll see when we go back up and we go back to home, anything that I've adjusted will now adjust here and update the totals. Again, it will give me totals over and under It'll give me the information about my pattern budget, my estimated costs. 
If you look a little further down, you will see this is add, adding all the notes for each day. Also, don't forget, we also have a total down here for the over under on the pages. And so essentially, this can be printed out too. So essentially what happens for some studios, what they will do is they will go through and they will fill all this out. They'll make sure to put the notes. They'll fill out any miscellaneous information, and then they will print this and set it into their financial executive at the studio. Then, when you go back to home, you can make this adjustment again. Maybe you are still working on hot costs for other days, but you want to send in a report for the first four days, or maybe the first five days because it's the end of the week. You can send this report in, and then later on, send a report in that has everything. Now. There's a couple of nice tricks about this that work with the hot costs. Um, if you go back to hot cost itself, we actually have some buttons on the very top that help you. Now, say for example, I wanted to actually copy and paste this information in so they don't have to type it manually. You can do that. Make sure you go back to the reporter and open up we're going to open up and these, all these are in progress except, of course, this one here. We will go into it. And we want to make sure that we're going into the day that we want to report. So I come to this day here, and this is the day I want to report. Again, fill out what you want. Make sure you put your shoot date, your pages, etc. Now, say, for example, I wanted to get my IOTC totals in. So I'm going to go back to, leave this open here, but go back to the hot costs. And then use, and there's, there's multiple levels of this, so let me walk you through them. So first is, maybe I want to find, or I can use this find here too, either one works. I want to find tag to IOTC and get. Now I'm looking at my IOTC, IOTC totals and I can say copy totals. Go back to the reporter, go back into IOTC, paste, and now I have my totals. All I need to do again is go back to the hot costs and do another find for say DGA, get DGA, and then copy the totals, go back to the reporter, paste DGA, and now I have my DGA. And you can literally go through each section and change them. Now, mind you, again, if I wanted to say, for example, I wanted to put in, say, um, an area like maybe non-union, I can do that too. Go back to the hot cost and find non-union. Here's the trick though. I don't have non-union in here. The, the important part of using the actual tag 2 is that originally it was entered in the crew card. So when you're actually going to that crew card, make sure the person who's actually entering payroll puts in DGA, IOTC, Teamster, or Teamsters, either one works. You can also do non-union, anything that you want to find and get. So for example, let me hit find all real quick here and I'll go ahead and make an adjustment and we'll just say we'll add two non-union people so you can see how that works too. Again, you can do this here if you want to, but it's better if you have your payroll person entering this in the first place. Now that I have that in there, I'll go ahead and make another non-union. We'll just do a couple here. So, all right. So now we have a couple non-unions. So now that I have that, again, I can use the mini find. It's, it's up to you look for tag two, now I have non-union and get, and now I can copy the total, go back to the reporter, and now I can go back to my non-union and paste the information in, not forgetting to actually put in other things like mandates if you need to do that. All right, so now that I've done that, don't forget to enter the day length. A lot of people forget that. What is the day length for this day? We'll say it's a full day. Fair enough. Now we've got it. That will actually help when you're actually going back to home. It will actually give you the proper totals. And again, this is a combination. Now we have an extra day that's been entered in the system. All right. Now, there are some other handy little things about this. If you want to do paste DGA, make sure that you have your, 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 your program flagged properly with DGA. If you do that, what will happen is you can automatically, and instead of saying like I did, find and get, right? So I'll get a find all here. Remember, I, I, I found and got the DGA people, right? What the program will do is if I hit paste DGA, it will do that. Just make sure the episode is open on the day that you want and then it will automatically paste for you. And likewise, if you want to paste all to the reporter, just make sure you have your IOTC, DGA, 
um, Teamsters, and by the way, it'll also do the MPVs as well, and it will do the whole thing for you. Now, occasionally I find that some people say it doesn't work. Well, it's probably because you didn't go into Tag 2 and flag them there. Again, it's best if you have your payroll person originally do this back when they're entering the time cards, and that way, from that point on, it'll automatically work. Now, again, the nice thing about this and with this reporter is, is you can actually take and print reports if you need to. So if you come into the reports, we have all kinds of different reports, including mandate reports. Take a look, here's an IATSE report. Essentially, this is breaking down the IATSE. If you want to go into, uh, say, for example, my non-union or my set dressing, any one of these things. Again, remember, these are things that I've changed. Like, for example, my hard drives. This is my hard drives report. So the nice thing is, is you can actually even go and make reports as well as you're dealing with it. Now, the hot cars reporter we understand is kind of difficult to understand at first. So we usually recommend that you contact us the first day you're doing a hot cost. We will help you with that, get you through this process, and then after that you'll get the rhythm of how you deal with this. So please, always feel free to set up an appointment with someone in showbiz support so that we can actually do your very first hot cost with you so you'll understand how it works and then from that point on you'll be golden and you'll understand the process and it'll work for you. And again, that is the Hot Cost Reporter. Thank you.